In this video, I will be explaining how warm and cold light can affect the white balance when we film a scene, and, how by adjusting the white balance settings on the camera, we can compensate for the ambient light so we can get true color matches onto our film. Color temperature is a way to describe the light appearance provided by a light bulb. It is measured in degrees of Kelvin, K, on a scale from 1000 to 10,000. At the lower end of the scale, from 2000K to 3000K, the light produced is called warm white, and ranges from orange to yellow white in appearance. Color temperatures between 3100K and 4500K are referred to as cool white or bright white. Light bulbs within this range will emit a more neutral white light, and, may even have a slightly blue tint. Above 4500K brings us into the daylight color temperature of light. Light bulbs with color temperatures of 4500K and above, will give off a blue-white light that mimics daylight. Between 2700 Kelvin and 2900 Kelvin, we find ourselves at a color temperature usually found in household lighting. Most lamps, ceiling lights, and other indoor lighting will sit somewhere between 2800K and 2900K. Some filmmakers are happy enough to mix 2900 Kelvin practical lights with 3200 Kelvin tungsten based, and use them as a motivated source because of the slight differentiation. At 4000K, the temperature can be referred to as neutral white. At 3500K, and up to 4300K you find fluorescent lights. These lights are bright and offer no favor to the warm or cool side of the Kelvin scale. You will find this color temperature in cooking kitchens, retail stores, and daytime offices. Essentially, in most places where colors need to appear natural. The list can be somewhat paradoxical at times. With the sun leaning more towards a cold color despite being the hottest element on the list, and moonlight is no different. The Kelvin measurement of moonlight is 4100K, which on the scale is warmer than sunlight, but, we typically think of moonlight as cold light. Moving up the Kelvin scale, 5200K is regarded as the default daylight color temperature of a high midday sun with no cloud cover. Often, when we think about a specific color temperature, the color we see is that of how we perceive the color under daylight. As such, daylight is often the base correction temperature when trying to correct abnormal color casts from stray light sources. Many consumer and professional LED lights will ship with either daylight or bi-color based LEDs. If your camera, or film, is daylight balanced, this light will appear white. On the scale, 8000 Kelvin looks abnormally blue, to be seen in the real world. However, that color measurement is indeed the color of daylight, when the sunlight's waves are dispersed through a heavy set of cloud cover. A blue day isn't just a passing phase. 9000K, and onward up to 10000K, is attributed to a clear blue sky. However, when one thinks of a blue sky, you're inherently going to think of sunlight. You're not going to get a blue sky without daylight, right? And while that's true, when photographing or filming elements directly under a clear blue sky, you may find it throws a cast over your image, even though your image looks as it should be. Different light sources will have a color that is perceived as either warm or cold. The basis of how light temperature is measured is against a Kelvin scale. Now seen here, set together side by side to show the comparison of the different lights pertaining to filmmaking and photography that would be found within these bands of Kelvin so the white balance can be adjusted accordingly. In this next segment, we are going to set the white balance of the camera manually. First, turn on the camera. Now press the menu button. And using the right, left arrow keys, Scroll to menu settings and scroll down to custom white balance and press the set button. Next, take a piece of white paper and place in front of the camera's lens. Now take a still image of the white paper. The camera will save this image and use this image to set the custom white balance to the camera. If you are shooting outside, you will need to set up the white balance regularly throughout the day to ensure you are shooting with the correct custom setting for that time of day.